Alright, so when you're heading out to a new ballpark, when you're hitting the road, you gotta stop, get some Mexican food. We have Pancheros right now in Shelton, Connecticut, so check that out if you're in the area. It's like a Chipotle Mexican food, so let's dig in. I'm here in New Britain, Connecticut. You guys are used to seeing me in Bridgeport at the Bluefish Stadium. They're away, they're on the road, but I thought I'd still cover some Atlantic League baseball. So today we're gonna check out the New Britain Bees versus the Southern Maryland Blue Crabs. More Atlantic League baseball. I got a ton of guys that I know from both teams. So we're gonna check out the ballpark and give it a tour. I have a lot of great memories here when they were the Rock Cats. So let's go check out the New Britain Bees. All right. New Britain, Connecticut. New Britain Stadium, one of the more historic minor league ballparks. Former home of the Rock Cats. I have a lot of great memories here. I've seen a lot of players that are playing in the major leagues now, superstar players. Guys like Xander Bogarts, Joe Panic, Miguel Sano. And I have a lot of memories here. So I'll talk about some of the memories I have here at the stadium when they were the Rock Cats. One memory I have here at the Rock Cats Stadium when they were the Rock Cats was when Miguel Sano was playing here. Um, he hit a home run. I recorded it somehow. The video footage sucked. It, it's pretty crappy footage, but I was like happy. He hit a home run. It was pretty cool. For some reason, that video got used on ESPN in different sports websites, and it became pretty popular. I think it has over 100,000 views. Um, and it was at this stadium. I just so happened to record it at the perfect time. So that's one memory I have here at the stadium when they were the Rock Cats. So second memory I have here at the New Britain Stadium is actually in this spot right here. Uh, it really looks like nothing at all. But uh, this is where I used to get a lot of autographs from some of the up and coming stars. I got guys like Michael Conforto, Joe Panic, uh, Brandon Nemo right here in this spot this little cliff try to take selfies with them even though it was like really hard but you could get like autographs and stuff so this is in the visitors dugout but that's one of the memory memorable spots i have here at the stadium is actually that spot right there so well, the last memory i have here that stands out is actually coming to the eastern lake all-star game in 2013 it was here in new Burton, connecticut um i had a lot of fun it was my first time i think going to a minor league all-star game I met some people that watch my YouTube channel, I remember, and then I just got to, like, rack on autographs, which I enjoyed back then. Uh, so that was a cool event. It was pretty packed, I remember. And it was raining, I remember, in the beginning of the game, too. But uh, that didn't stop fans from coming. When they were the Rock Cats, they really did uh, get a good, um, you know, fan support and really drew well. So I'm hoping that will um, happen for the Bees. You know, it might not be the same, but hopefully the New Britain fans are still there. So that's one of the memories I have uh, from when they were the Rock Cats is when they hosted the Eastern League All-Star Game in 2013. You'll see at this stadium, the seating is a little bit different here. The seats are a little bit more steep. Kind of looks like a football stadium a little bit, the seating. But um, it's just a different setup than some of the other Atlantic League ballparks. Press box over there, right in the middle. But yeah, uh, just thought that was a little different uh, compared to the other Atlantic League stadiums. So one thing about this stadium is they have one of the bigger scoreboards in the Atlantic League. Uh, I think that's from when they were here in New Britain with the Rockettes. But uh, they left it there. They changed it up with the Bees logo on top instead of the Rockettes logo. And it's just a really nice um, scoreboard they have out in left field. And another difference here at this stadium is that there's no real, like, real backdrop besides just trees, unlike all the other ballparks, which I don't particularly in, um, you know, like as much. It's a little uh, boring, but um, it is pretty peaceful, peaceful here at this stadium, but uh, just trees in the background here at the New Britain Stadium. They do have a little carnival over there in right field, which it might work, I don't know, I never checked it out, but that's a little uh, unique too. I think only this ballpark, York 
and Sugarland have a car uh, carousel. So it's different, but yeah, the backdrop just trees. Oh, gosh. Oh, okay. Oh. That's the line for just the food. That's crazy. That's insane. The game now. I usually don't come to games the same ways as fans do. I'm usually here earlier, but today I finished my media work, so I thought, why not come in through the fan entrance? And today I got this. I got a Stan Clyburn fan face fan, something like that. It's pretty cool. This is my boy Stan, and we did interview today at this stadium, so pretty cool. I like this nice face fan. All right. Yeah. All right, YouTube, just want to show you this real quick. This is my Twitter, um, so you guys can go follow it. Uh, right now, it doesn't have really any followers because this used to be a private, you know, personal account. Um, for my Twitter, but I changed it. It's public now. It's and now it's only a uh, sports so uh, Y'all can follow this. I guess this is my official Twitter for my YouTube channel. I don't know uh, I do post my interviews uh, From my YouTube channel on here, but mainly I just talk about sports So if you guys want to follow me hear what I gotta say uh, follow this account. It's at Ty Baronski 10 so get the follower numbers up before I didn't really care about followers, but now I actually want people to follow the Twitter account. So uh, go do that, check that out. And uh, yeah, that'd be awesome. Thanks for watching this vlog. If you liked what you saw, make sure to give the video a thumbs up and I'll see you on the next vlog. Bye.